of margaritas. I get anxious around Let's see if I can find a spot to eat. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I'll just show you. Hey friends, it's Saturday, May the 4th. The time is around 7 p.m. and the temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> I'm here in the neighborhood of Little Italy on College Street, headed east. And for this walk, I figured we would hit up a pretty popular pizza and pasta restaurant called Fresca's. I'm in the mood for some pizza, and I'm wondering if they have any slices left here. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me, and we'll explore the Little Italy neighborhood. It can get pretty popular, as you can imagine, on the weekends. I've seen quite a few people out and about enjoying the patios. It's been a beautiful Saturday here in the city. I've tried Fresca's pasta in the past. I originally wanted to go there to try their lasagna, but by the time I went there, I was too late and they were out. So I just ordered I think it was penne arrabbiata, and it was quite good. But I always told myself that I would go back for a slice. This is Johnny Lombardi way. So I'm hoping, it's not too late, it's only seven o'clock. I'm hoping they'll have some slices left. But there might be quite the lineup as well. We have the Leafs tonight, game seven. Can you believe it? Against the Boston Bruins. So it should be a pretty exciting game, but I think the pizza place might be busy because the puck drop starts at eight. Red Pegasus, looks like a neat store. Kind of looks like a bookstore. down by our feet is the Little Italy Walk of Fame. <laughs> I'm not quite sure to be honest, but I see a lot of celebrities' names. There's the Royal Theatre in front of us here. Peekaboo. Should I go in there? <laughs> this must be a show on tonight. <laughs> Wait, the line up here. As you can see. What's going on along this stretch here? Looks like a police officer pulled somebody over. I'm not quite sure. And we've got some a mariachi band, which I'm not sure if that's copyright. This is Cafe Diplomatico, a really popular spot. This is College in Clinton. I'm not sure if that'll be copyright. That's interesting. It's funny nonetheless. I'm gonna try to talk through it here. If anything else, that would be worth the copyright <laughs> as we wait for the light here. Never a dull moment in Little Italy, that's for sure. I don't think I've ever seen a mariachi band in my life. <laughs> so there we have it. A mariachi band at Cafe Diplomatico. <laughs> it's a nice touch. How funny was that? <laughs> I sure am glad I decided to walk through Little Italy here. I'm planning to do a live stream after this, but I wanted to grab something to eat first. And I think I'll be competing with the Leafs game, so we'll see how that goes in terms of viewers, but that's okay. I think it'll be a pretty good live stream nonetheless. Yeah. 
Mrs. Robinson to the left here. I still can't get over that mariachi band. <laughs> oh, it looks like an ice cream shop here. The BMG Chill ice cream parlor. I love the outside. It's nice to see it open. I did a live stream back a little while ago and it wasn't open. But I'm sure they're busy tonight. Couldn't ask for better weather. I even broke out the shorts today. We've got a couple patio goers there to my left, enjoying a nice beer. Looks like a little boutique of some sorts. T-shirt guys. And there's RC Coffee, the robot cafe. Bear and bear steak, original sandwiches. Those guys are enjoying a nice meal. Oh, are you trying to work here for a little bit? Like, I'm like, oh, okay, I actually know these. It's nice to walk through a neighborhood that's buzzing on a Saturday. You can just feel the energy. And I'm sure everyone's excited for game seven. This is Euclid Avenue. A couple of Toronto police on bikes there. And this garbage can up ahead here needs to be emptied. Toronto, what's happening? I like these trees up ahead here. They're just starting to get their leaves. And you can see the street lights here have string lights along them. Not sure what happened behind me there. I heard some jingling. That looks like a really popular spot at College in Palmerston on the corner there. Can't seem to get the name right now. Let's see, you get a little bit closer. Get a little bit closer. I'm not sure the name of that. La Pan? I want to say La Pan, but don't quote me on it. Looks busy though. They have a nice patio too. It's packed. There's a neat little mural of giant roosters. And we've got a streetcar as well. 506 Carlton to Main Street Station. Alice Restaurant. I certainly hope they have pizza left over. <laughs> or freshly made, rather. Snakes and Lattes College. To the right there. This looks like a cute street. With the little red fence off in the distance. This is Markham Street. All four books. Looks like they've got some neat books here. You can see North of Toronto, Cabbage Town, Car Toronto Carved in Stone. Some different books that you might not find anywhere else. Lily, Lily put hats. Custom hats. That's really cool. Hear the fire hall building in the distance. It must be seven o'clock. And it wouldn't be 
Toronto video without sirens off in the distance. We're coming up to Bathurst in college. Just before the streetcar goes in front of it there, that was Sneaky D's. Sneaky D's off in the corner here. It's quite busy traffic wise, so it can be hard to see. But they have really good nachos. Or they did, rather. I haven't been there in years. There were rumors of it shutting down, but I think it was saved, as you can see. Anyone that is familiar with the Bathurst and College area is familiar with Sneaky D's. El Rancho. I also hear a helicopter as well. The green room. The poor Alex Theater green room. This is Lippincott Street. Toby's Pub has a lineup as well. There's a Domino's here, but that is not where we're going. <laughs> Sometimes I partake in Domino's as well. I quite enjoy their pizza. people out on the patio is enjoying the night. There's the 506 Carlton to High Park. Sal's tattoo. I like what they did to this electrical box here. I think that adds a nice touch. This is Borden Street. Another nice mural on the corner there. There's a encampment on the corner here of College and Bellevue. There's a doggy. Looks like he's got bangs. <laughs> this is Brunswick Avenue. The dark doctor's parquet to the left here. See if I can get a shot at the fire station. The 315 off in the distance there behind us. That clock tower is where we heard the bells ringing for 7 p.m. Busy intersection here at Augusta and College. Off in the distance there, you can see the CN Tower. Peeking over yeah. the buildings. Second Cup, you don't see many of those around anymore. It's kind of overrun by Starbucks. 
Fancy Franks. Gourmet hot dogs. On the corner of Major and College. We've got some copyright music there with that guy carrying a very large boombox. It's quite the crowd. Dressed up. Wonder if they're all together. It looks like it. Don't really know what that's about. Perhaps it's being dessert. That's interesting. <laughs> that was quite an interesting crowd. And we're coming up to Fresca Pizza and Pasta, and I can already see the line. So let's see if I'm able to get a slice. I should sort of peek in, and if I have to pause the video, I will. <laughs> it looks like they may have slices left. As you can see, very popular spot. This is Robert in college. Look if they have some pizza slices. The line seems to be moving. So we're gonna make our way in. I'm so tired. I miss it so much. I see some people coming out with slices, so that's a good sign. Oh shoot! I think it'll be worth the wait. Carlton to High Park. when I get my slice, I'll fire up the live stream. You do a taste test. It's fine, it's on here. lost them. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We finally got our slice here of margarita. I get anxious around. Let's see if I can find a spot to eat. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I'll just show you. I don't know if I'm going to pursue. I'm going to pursue. I think those, those two took my idea there. All right. Let's go find a bench. <laughs> That was Fresca's there. I think I was waiting for about 20 minutes, so it wasn't too, too bad. And I wasn't sure I was even gonna get a slice. So I certainly am glad to be walking with one right now. I think if I spot somewhere to take a, to get a shot of the pizza rather, 
Where can we find a bench? Something is jingling in my pocket here. Hopefully the camera's not picking that up. Even just a little ledge to show you guys the pizza. I think it's slim pickings here. And the closest park that I can think of is Queens Park, but I certainly don't want to walk that far. Let's see. I'll even settle for just a bench. <laughs> This is Spadina in college. I also got a Sprite as well. It came to $6.79. So not bad at all, and it smells delicious. They have fresh garlic that you can put on your pizza as well, but it was insanely busy in there, so I didn't want to take up space, take up any more space than I needed to, rather. see any benches. It's really a shame that they didn't have more picnic tables to sit. All right, as soon as I spot a bench or a picnic table or a park, we are all over that. <laughs> and I'll take a little bite show you guys the pizza and then I think I'm gonna fire up a live stream while I'm eating the pizza. And get a double dose of tea shots. And a double review at that. So we're still walking east along college here. You can hear my pizza flapping in the wind as I'm holding it. I've got my Sprite in the other hand as well. Campbell Family Mental Health Research Institute to the left. And we've got double the streetcar. 506 Carlton to Main Street Station. And a Carlton short turn. I said, don't mind my paper bag flapping in the wind here. All right, there should be a spot to stop and eat up ahead here. Ah, I think I see the perfect spot. This is Huron and College. CN Tower off in the distance. We're going to sit right in front of University of Toronto Student Commons. Or should we go a little further? Hmm. Do I chance it or is that good enough? I think that's good enough. <laughs> All right, just gonna put you guys down for a second here. Hopefully the camera doesn't flip over. Get a nice view of College Street. Off in the distance there, I do see picnic tables, but I don't think that's just for anybody to use. I'm not really sure. <laughs> just gonna sanitize my hands, put my bag down. And test it out. All right, let's open it up here. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> As I said, I got the margarita slice. Wow, quite a big portion here. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't cut it in half, so I don't know how you're supposed to <laughs> really eat it here. All right, <laughs> let's see. Let's see if I can flip you guys around. All right, there I am <laughs> with my windblown hair and my giant slice of pizza. Here we go. Oh 
my goodness. Wow. I can see <laughs> why there was a lineup. That's for sure. 10 out of 10. Definitely give Frescas a try and get there early if you can on a Saturday. <laughs> or just go on a weekday when it's less busy. But overall, that was a really good experience. Here's another look at my pizza with a bite taken out of it now. So I hope you enjoyed this walk, our journey through Little Italy to Fresca's Pizza, and it ultimately ended up being successful. I ended up getting my slice, and I'm pretty happy with it. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like, <laughs> subscribe, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. I also have an Instagram account. It's Walks with T-Shots. Feel free to follow me there as well. And if you're interested in becoming a member, there will be a join button next to the subscribe button, as well as a link in my description. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.